And I am back with another What Sold Today video. I sold six items. That's one on Poshmark and five on eBay. I will share with you the item that I sold, how much I paid for it, what it sold for, and what my net profit per item is. If this sounds like something that interests you, hit that like button and let's get started. So we'll start on Poshmark. I sold a Marlboro Adventure Team two-piece nylon sweatsuit. I paid $7.50 for this. It was $3.75 for each piece. It was a hooded full zip jacket with the matching sweatpants. I have sold this Marlboro brand in the past, so I knew it was worth picking up. As you can see here, it was 100% nylon adult size large. Uh, it was the Adventure Team. Uh, Marlboro is a cigarette brand in case you were not aware and I have sold this before and it does sell well. It sold for my full asking price of $83 on Poshmark. My buyers do pay shipping so my profit was $49.79. The fees on this were close to $20 on Poshmark. Looking at these keywords, I included the brand name Adventure Team two-piece nylon sweatsuit. I also included the keyword Y2K, large red 90s, jacket, pants, and BTG for vintage. Next, we'll hop over to eBay. I sold a pair of Levi Denim 569 jeans. I do pick up Levi jeans from time to time. They are $4.50 at the Goodwill here. This sold on an offer to watcher for $29.32 and the buyer paid $9 for priority shipping. So they were about $38 all in on this pair of denim jeans. This was a good size 34 by 34. My profit on this pair of jeans was $19.28. It took about three months to sell. So I do include a photo of the back leather patch as well as the inside tag. These numbers on here do, I think they do identify what year they were made. I have not yet deciphered myself what those mean, but you can see here the size is clearly 34 by 34. Looking at these keywords, Levi Strauss 569 jeans, denim, loose, straight leg. I included the size with the spaces, men's, and then I also included the size without the spaces in case someone was searching for that. I included cotton as they were 100% cotton. And then I never really know whether to include the apostrophe in these brand names or not. So I did also include Levi's with the apostrophe. Go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know how you handle the apostrophe situation in your titles. Do you include it or do you leave it out? What is the best practice there? Next, I sold a pair of vintage jeans. These were Lawman. Uh, this is what that tag looks like. On the inside, it's a spell out tag. And then the back had a kind of a gold plate. Uh, this is a country western brand. It did have a button fly closure, which added to its value. Uh, you can consider these mom jeans as they do have high rise. These did have slight imperfections in the crotch. As you can see here, the inner crotch was a little well worn. I did note that in the description and it sold anyway for $66.80. The buyer did pay nine shipping, so they were about $75 all in on this pair of denim jeans that was somewhat imperfect. It has wear in the crotch and then also on the cuffs. My profit on this pair of jeans was $46.59. Taking a look at these keywords, the items to note here, Western Vintage, I did also include world-class denim, as that's what it says on the tag there. Size 5, 
distressed and button fly. I could have also used the keyword mom jean. The next item to sell was a pair of Hey Dudes. I think these have decreased quite a bit in value. I did pick these up at a thrift store for just $1. Uh, I did price them high at $39 and I had them going on eight months. So when the offer came in of $25, I did accept it. The buyer did pay $7 for the ground advantage shipping. So they were $32 all in on this pair of shoes. Uh, again, I kind of thought they would sell for a little bit more money. However, uh, I had them going on eight months. So the offer came in of 25 and I did accept it. I'm not sure I will purchase these in the future, but again, it's hard to pass up for just $1. My profit was $18.56. The keywords to note here, hey dude, Karina Joy, which is the style name that I found on the inner tag here. Uh, size 11 canvas, I also included the style number, low top sneakers, sand and slip on. And the next item to sell on eBay was a New York Yankees t-shirt. Again, this is new with tag. And if you've been following my channel at all, you do know that I will pick up almost anything and everything new with tags. Uh, I did like the rainbow logo on this. I figured I could use rainbow and pride, which I did include in my title. I paid $3.75 for this at Goodwill. Now this took about seven months to sell. It sold for $24.04 and the buyer paid seven shipping. So my profit was $16.82. So do keep your eye open for these uh, professional teams, especially when they have colorful logos such as this. Uh, you can keyword stack. In this case, I did NWT for new with tag, New York Yankees Fanatics, which was the brand. I did include pride logo shirt, long sleeve t-shirt with the hyphen. I also included the keyword gay, T and black. And the last time I like to share with you on eBay is an LL Bean fleece jacket. Uh, they charged me a sweater price of $3.75. This sold on a best offer of $47.39 within three weeks of listing. The buyer paid $10 priority shipping, so they were close to $60 all in on this fleece jacket. My profit was $33.44. Now, I did have another one. I picked up two of these that day. They charged me $3.75 each. I have another one in a light blue color. This was an L.L. Bean slightly fitted fleece jacket. The keywords to note here, uh, slightly fitted sweater. I also included the keyword sweater, fleece, full zip jacket. This was a style number, the color gray. Is it gray with an A or gray with an E? I chose to include the gray with an A and I did include the keyword men's. So do keep your eye open for these L.L. Bean fleece jackets. They do sell well and this one sold fairly quickly. This is my assistant, Mojo. He is our recent adoption from the Humane Society. He is a, a cuddle bug and we love him to pieces. He does like to inspect the packages before I send them to the post office. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something new today, pound that like button. It's a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it tells me that I am creating great content that you guys love. And I'm Zandra, Piece of Scrap on YouTube. Subscribe for more What Sold on eBay.